Thank you, Asad. So, uh, main thing is what is the operating system? We will know uh, to these topics, and then what is the desktop? Um, when you work on the desktop, uh, what is the, it's called desktop? What is the server? What is the difference between server and desktop? And um, what uh, different kinds of operating system we are familiar? Uh, so on. So um, and then the second uh, second one uh, is like we do have nowadays um, operating system. We have mobile operating system, uh, server operating system, uh, and then. Um, uh, like uh, virtual also uh, like uh, oracle virtual box and then uh, also vm wire i am not uh, uh, sure are you aware of that or not so it is it is um, for uh, virtualization uh, vm wire this is software also and then uh, what is called unix uh, or workstation like that so let's get start with the operating system so operating system is the central system uh, the, of the software that manage computer hardware and software resources provided common service for computer program. All computer program exclude firmware require a operating system to function. This is the definition, but overall uh, for our world, if we say like uh, we do have a hardware, like um, uh, definitely we have a motherboard and then case, and then RAM, uh, hard disk, uh, and then um, and then other components like mouse, keyboard, printer, monitor, and like all together. Suppose uh, when we have laptop, it is integrated within one place. But if we have a desktop at your home, definitely you are aware of you need to a lot of things uh, separately. You need to buy, and then you can uh, you can put it together. This is this is the box. It is called CPU, Central Processing Unit. Uh, CPU is like we call CPU, but it is a desktop tower. So CPU is a defined component. It is uh, the power uh, power processor for the motherboard. It is processing like how fast are is processing. Like you heard about the Intel. So Intel it does they create uh, they make the um, processor every year and different version like i7, i3, i5. So this is the name of the version of the processing speed. And then, uh, based on your uh, needs, you can buy. Based on based on your uh, budget, you need to buy which one you want. Suppose, like if you want to work uh, normally, we, um, like um, shopping, online shopping, or banking, checking, or regular uh, mail send, uh, and then uh, um, uh, Facebook, uh, uh, Facebook uh, checkup, or uh, uh, regular searching. So you are not doing a lot of um, uh, like uh, processing, like uh, image processing, or suppose if somebody is working on video editing or audio editing, they need to process a lot of things. Or uh, if you work on uh, multi uh, multimedia or media uh, companies, then a lot of uh, photo rendering or editing, if you need, then it is processing time need to faster. Then it is different. So normal people and then uh, my particular um, people they need to target like what they they will use with the operating system with the software so based on that they will figure out how much configuration they need and then how much they need to spend because they need high performance uh, hardware and operating system will work low and high it doesn't matter they can handle it nowadays uh, if you go so uh, there is the 64 bit operating system is everywhere so what does mean the 64 bit previously a lot uh, even though right now a lot of other uh, software they all uh, they only support 32 bit but the thing is if you have 64 bit operating system then it, it will uh, run see 32 bit and 64 bit both but if you have 32 bit operating system then it will not run 64 bit um, program or application and then uh, how you can find out it is uh, if you go uh, suppose like control panel is the central point like uh, if you can from here you can uh, go uh, uh, install and uninstall everywhere uh, from here so uh, here we have system system uh, system icon from the control panel if you click here and then you will know like what is the 
processor intel processor is there this is the version i have on my operating system uh, with the laptop so i7 i have and then this is the ram i have uh, and then this is the operating system um, 64 bit is mentioning so every computer so suppose like when you work on uh, um, on your desktop if you go to the office uh, maybe desktop or laptop they will provide and then immediately you need to uh, go to the system from the control panel uh, and then you can find out which operating system which processor how much uh, ram you have because sometimes if you feel uh, when you work on it is very slow and then uh, you find out it has uh, only 4 gigabyte or 8 gigabyte ram and then you can uh, suggest uh, to your environment team to upgrade your uh, memory uh, and then they will come and then they will do that uh, on on your desktop or, or laptop or maybe you can go to the tech support team uh, with your laptop and then they um, maybe it, is, it takes a little time for them and then uh, you can drop off and then when you pick up they will install it for you so it is uh, why you uh, need to know because definitely you need to know like how, what RAM you have, what uh, processor uh, installed and then which operating system. And then here the name of the operating system. This is the, uh, this is the addition. Under the addition it will show and then also uh, what work group you have and then what is the name of your computer. Sometimes uh, if you need to uh, remote access or somebody need to work on for installation, suppose you are not authorized because admin uh, permission you need, that time they might ask you, what is your computer name? And then there, if you don't know, uh, you can come and then you can find out what is your computer name from here. And um, this is the basic and uh, we'll go through other, uh, other component like uh, advanced settings uh, for environment, how you can do the environment variables. So we'll go a little bit later now um so this is the operating system so upper operating system is operate like all hardware suppose uh, your keyboard if you change your keyboard your uh, wireless keyboard if you need and then you can you can integrate and then operating system can um, um, handle this and then if you have a um, um, printer you need to uh, install the driver and then operating system can communicate with the printer and then uh, plug and play everything is plug and play right now uh, because the driver is already is integrated, common driver. Suppose uh, if you are integrated with the um, mouse, definitely you are not. In, it is not asking for the uh, driver. If you are um, uh, logging or plugging with your monitor, external monitor, it is not uh, um, asking for the driver. But previously, like Windows XP or a previous version, old version, they might need for driver, and then they gave us the. A flash drive or a CD and then we need to install and then after that it recognize the operating system but right now operating system is huge and then they already integrated and then common feature it is called plug and play and then when you uh, uh, plug in with your USB port and then it will automatically recognize what you are plugging is keyboard or uh, printer uh, cable or um, mouse whatever uh, so those are the things and then why it is showing the farmer? What is what is the software? What is called farmer? Farmer is like a um, um, is hardware integrated with uh, software. So suppose like uh, we already know like, uh, when we when we have a mobile and then um, uh, and and then mobile has already built in memories and also it has the firmware. To integrate with the operating system we don't need to separately install because uh, it, it has inside the firmware and then firmware got updated suppose like also uh, uh, you are family if you are not familiar uh, with the dos suppose um, uh, when we start and then it is uh, if we need to um, change our uh, booting system it is called bios bios or uh, bios is the um, firmware also it is it is like a chip but it has the software, it is upgradable. So a lot of times uh, operating system uh, like hardware or um, uh, software, like if you are using your TV and then definitely TV version, uh, they need to upgrade. So uh, when you need to upgrade, that's mean you are upgrading the firmware. That's mean it has integrated in the TV. 
So a lot of things, even though in um, uh, networking like uh, 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 modems or a router, they have a firmware also. So it is very common terms, uh, software and firmware and hardware. Those three things is look like, the, but hardware is only the um, hardware components, uh, which one is physical, but a software doesn't have physical. Uh, software is the coding or programming. Uh, it is written by, uh, um, it could be written by different languages. Suppose like a Mac operating system is here, uh, or a Linux operating system, um, they are written with uh, um, uh, with uh, C program or uh, um, other program as well. Suppose like uh, nowadays um, iOS or um, Android, Android is written by Java or uh, iOS is written by C or C object C. Uh, so uh, those are uh, those are programming language, but behind Behind that, it has uh, definitely, you know, Microsoft operating system, they are, um, they do Windows and then um, uh, Mac, it is coming with the uh, Mac OA, iOS, it is coming with the Mac um, operating system. And then um, Linux is the freeware and then they have a different, different versions we'll go through. Uh, let's work with uh, what is what is called this is the symbol of common operating system symbol like this is windows this is linux this is apple we already knows and then um, the common operating system uh, these three are mostly common but but there is a lot of other operating system we uh, we don't know uh, but um, also um, for uh, mobile operating system those two are very uh, very common those two are very common sorry uh, I think it is not sharing. Okay, and now you can see. I will, I guess so it's got cut off. Um, so without operating system, hardware will not work. It is useless. Um, and then um, you can we cannot uh, work even though a uh, uh, mobile or a laptop or desktop or server everything it is like a heart. Um, so if we don't have heart, heart pump uh, stop, and then we will die. So same thing, if we don't have any operating system on our uh, uh, physical machine, and then definitely it will not work at all. So it is must, it should have. And then uh, computer defines like desktop. What is the desktop? Desktop is a common type of computer. And then um, mostly um, when you have a big floor and then big office, they have um, all our uh, desktop but it is uh, all desktop it is uh, it is like a uh, all everything like keyboard monitor is separate uh, sometimes a lot of uh, modernized company they don't provide at all any day um, any uh, desktop uh, computer they provide their uh, client to all laptops um, but it could be both as well and then what is the workstation workstation is the um, uh, separate name of um, the desktop because when you working on and the office environment they do have server and then they do have the client um, desktop that client desktop working as a workstation uh, so it is the same feature it has as a desktop so it is the defined name uh, uh, but it could be more uh, power uh, because uh, desktop uh, it is depends on the companies to companies like uh, it, it is not always true it should be more powerful than desktop it could be same or it could be less it depends on uh, it could be sometimes uh, on our um, on our lab uh, when we go over there and then we'll see our uh, all desktop is uh, Windows uh, 2008 uh, and it is old operating system. They, uh, they did not migrate, they did not uh, change it because uh, it is costly and they feel like, okay, we send to the client for a laptop uh, with the latest operating system, it is fine. So they did not upgrade there. Uh, so that time it could be, uh, it could face over there. And then um, based on the uh, Windows 7, uh, we already know uh, this is the different feature than Windows 10. Uh, start button is goes away uh, or maybe little uh, feature is got changed. And then uh, when we click Windows 10, we have a different uh, desktop uh, apps on then different list of here. Uh, and But Windows 7, definitely it, it is different. So uh, every operating system layout or GUI is different. So what is that? Suppose like on your car, on your office, if they are uh, saying some uh, something, oh, okay, can you check it um, you know, on your uh, uh, task bar? 
uh, the icon, the application icon is showing or not, then uh, if you don't know what is the taskbar, then how you can find out. So taskbar is the all the bottom one. This is called task. So when you click here, if you see on the right side, when you click all everything going to be minimized and then we can restore. Even though if you, uh, when you go to your um, um, office and this is the shortcut also always remember, um, this is shortcut you need, suppose control M uh, or control C, T, I'll control, control plus M. So control plus M is minimizing, minimize. So suppose you are working a lot of things, you need to access immediately uh, on your desktop icon. Then uh, you are going to manually minimize uh, this icon from the window one by one each, uh, and then it is time consuming. So in the meantime, if you click from your uh, Windows M actually, so not this Windows key. Windows keys, so Windows keys like Windows M, and then yeah, on your keyboard, uh, be, uh, on your left side, uh, beside the altar key, and then you will see the Windows key. So when you click, uh, hold down your Windows key and M button, and then it will minimize everything, and then immediately you can see the desktop. Okay, and another important thing is when you work on, uh, when you work on, or if you, if you go to the office and then uh, you need to leave for some minutes or for some break, five minutes or go to the bathroom, always remember lock, lock your workstation or laptop. So how you can do the shortcut key is Windows key and L. It is important because it is not good like your uh, manager or your colleague will come and then they will not see you, you are not present uh, at your desktop uh, because you are, uh, a, your desktop is open and then somebody can uh, message you, you might miss because they uh, know uh, they knows you are active but somehow you went to the, you left your desktop. So definitely you need to work with uh, shortcut key, Windows key and L. And then after you come, Control Alt R, delete when you press it will asking for so control plus alter plus delete and then it will prompt for your username and password or maybe if you're logged in already it will asking for only password so those things we need to go through and uh, the, and then this is you already knows whatever whatever we have here this is the shortcut. This is the shortcut keys for application. This is called icon. If you know what is the location, then how you can go? You can right click and then go to the properties. And then when you go to the properties, it will show the uh, path. What, what, is the, uh, what is the path you have or uh, the location? So if you don't know, then definitely you can go through more. If you, if you have more permission here, if definitely you might need, you might not. Uh, here is the details for the version. If you are working randomly uh, with a different version you know, on your release, and then you can find out. This is the this is the location of your everywhere. If you go and then when you go through the uh, details, and then it will show the target. That means you can go through the uh, location on. And then if you need to install some file, you can go to open a location file. When you click. And then immediately it will go on your application. This is the application location. When you click, it will show C drive, program files, and party. So this is the party, is the software, um, uh, and then uh, this is the location. And then this is the different file types. We already know this is the types, right? What is called? This is a file. This is the application. This is HTML, HTML file type. This is text, and then uh, and then this one is. Uh, shortcut uh, internal shortcut so it, it it has only one kilobyte if you uh, i saw it um, the old old days it happens like um in one floppy drive i said to my friend okay can you give me your program and then he just uh, copied this link uh, the shortcut key and then copy 
uh, and then sent to me. And then when I open it, I saw it, oh, this is only one kilobyte because the always shortcut key is one kilobyte. This is, this is the one kilobyte size, but it is looking here for uh, different, uh, uh, different sizes. But the thing is when you install, if you, if you want to give someone to, uh, and then definitely you need to give the executable file not the shortcut if you give them the shortcut it will not work because the shortcut is on your operating system it is not like um it is not like uh, you give them the shortcut and then when they uh, double click they can able to open because it is integrated with lot of files suppose this is the notepad plus plus is the software and then i install it with with here this is lot of files is there lot of folder is there and then a lot of files inside the system folder uh, operating system uh, under the windows folder and then uh, we have thousand thousand uh, hundred hundred of uh, um, folder is there it is coming with the operating system and then a lot of files is installed here we, we don't know we don't care developer knows but as a, when we test it suppose definitely we need it uh, and definitely we need to work with oh okay what what we need to uh, check it and then another one is uh, uh, the taskbar you already know this is the taskbar taskbar is suppose like when you click on and then they have a taskbar too when you click and then you can find out uh, like which which program is running suppose when you're working on and then your um, your uh, app web application might uh, buggy or maybe some application you did or a submit button you press and then immediately it got frozen or maybe transaction button you click if you have a financial companies and then it got frozen uh, it is not proceed uh, you cannot click or close uh, manually from your um, uh, right corner of the close button and then immediately you need to come with the taskbar and then when you come with the taskbar it will show all process or uh, all application list or uh, which one is running and then from from there if you go uh, details and then it will it will show you how which one is running um, and then based on that when you uh, from your process when if you see it is not responding uh, suppose like on the status is showing not responding and then when you click the application and then immediately you can on the right side on the end uh, end task is will um, enable and then when you click that application which one is not responding and then when you click again and task it will forcefully close it from your operating system suppose or the operating system somehow it got not responding in your uh, testing um, uh, environment you will feel uh, you will see a lot of times it could happen because it has a bug uh, they need to fix it and then that time uh, how you can um, uh, how you can rest, uh, like close it Definitely you need to come and then forcefully you need to uh, close it and then how you can do select that and then end task. Otherwise you need to restart your whole operating system if you don't do that. Sometimes it might need uh, you, uh, you do end task and then when you click again the operating system uh, the function is not working. Then maybe you might log off and then log in again or you might you need to restart whole system. You need to figure out uh, how it is working. And then you can report your developer or your according to your manager or that it happens when you have a frozen you need to you must need to restart even though it is not working if you log off or maybe if you are end task and then um, uh, do the or um, double click your operating system or use the url uh, your um, qa environment and then it is not working at all so those those you need to inform Okay, and uh, and then you already know so like uh, Mac OS is different feature and then their icon is all the way on the bottom and then they are definitely their um, uh, file structure. Well, file structure is different. Uh, file structure defines means uh, on the Windows, if you go uh, Windows and then everything is starting with C. And then under the C, we do have program files and the program files 86. So if you have Windows 64 bar, uh, 64 bit operating system, and then you will see you do have two version of uh, program files on Windows. Uh, but on Linux operating system, definitely they have different structure. 
um, it is not like uh, they don't have windows uh, or program files uh, uh, those structure they don't have they have a different structure if you are working on linux operating system their file system is different uh, uh, it is uh, they have a root and then they have a different different uh, folder name uh, it is not matching with here uh, like windows so every operating system file system it is called file system is different because uh, their structure their uh, architect is different the development process is different so sometimes if you're operating uh, suppose you install something and then it is a 30 do bit uh, um, uh, 30 do bit application definitely it will go definitely it will go under the program files 86 and then under underneath you need to uh, check it which folder which um, uh, software you install and then go to the uh, that correct uh, path but definitely it will not go under the program files because program files it will it will only support 64 bit so those structure is defined by windows but linux linux is based on it is unix but uh, uh, it, it is uh, it, it is designed by macintosh computer right uh, apple uh, apple also um, uh, developing apple company and um, and then their operating system totally different uh, who are uh, who are using uh, mac they already familiar with the structure of uh, their uh, operating system and then the linux operating system is different this is the symbol of linux so linux is uh, previously uh, it was um, free but right now we do have a lot of uh, a paid version also like uh, red hat linux or uh, other companies also they develop uh, linux as well uh, suppose like um, linux is linux travel he developed this suppose microsoft word bill gates is developed the um, microsoft and um, uh, Mac, uh, windows operating system he introduced um, but uh, linux operating system linux travel he uh, developed on 1991 and then he released and then the operating system uh, main version it is called as a kernel the kernel version this is the version of operating system uh, and then that kernel version we know uh, linux is uh, free uh, when it came and then it has lot of uh, um, lot of version out there like uh, ubuntu is the desktop lot of people are using free ubuntu operating system and then Red Hat Linux is very popular for uh, database uh, and uh, um, networking operating system server side and uh, also it is based on the Linux and also you already know the Amazon uh, web service uh, Amazon web service Amazon also they have own uh, operating system yeah, but it is based on Linux as well so even though um, uh, for Oracle uh, VMOR uh, they are running and then uh, they also they have Oracle they have uh, their own operating system also with that with based on Linux. So Linux is very popular for um, uh, programmer um, because and network engineer and they are using those because it has a lot of flexibility to develop the code uh, and then um, practice on it. And uh, you will have definitely when you're working on your company and then if you have a database, uh, definitely they will use Linux. Uh, if they have a um, uh, server side application mostly they use uh, linux but also windows has a server side application uh, they also use that one like uh, uh, another operating system or microsoft has uh, like uh, microsoft sql server and then it is uh, definitely it is working with um, their windows application and then here uh, Android, we already know this is totally different structure, and then all, everything is gesture or moving by uh, uh, headerless um, uh, browser is there, and then everything based on the gadget or the icon, and then it's open, and then it is everything everything maintained by finger. Now it doesn't have uh, command uh, command line. It has uh, you can do that, but uh, mostly it is uh, operated by finger, uh, and uh, you don't need to. Um, mouse or you don't need to uh, use the keyboard uh, at all uh, they uh, they are targeting to use those everything by finger and then they have keyboard if you write definitely if you need to write something you can use uh, virtual uh, keyboard uh, with integrated with the operating system so you we all uh, definitely we all are familiar with that the same thing ios as well 
so ios operating system uh, also uh, formerly iphone uh, operating system it is called ios and then it is also mobile operating system right uh, so uh, those are operating system we already uh, knows and uh, and the hardware things uh, hardware things means definitely when you when we work uh, we need to work on operate uh, hardware suppose like how it look like let me check with them suppose if you are if you um, i'm not sure definitely it is not everybody don't have access but network engineer suppose like this is the network engineer he is working on lot of servers uh, on that server room and then every single tray it is a server and it has processor it has motherboard it has a uh, um, uh, hard drive it has ram and everything is integrated and then it is uh, connected on the back end with the one cable a uh, lot of cables uh, uh, and then it has a tray and it is produced definitely it produce a lot of heats and then uh, they need to very good cooling system uh, because otherwise it going to be overheat if your operating system is going to be overheated and then operating uh, sorry uh, not operating system if your um, uh, cpu like a central processing unit uh, on on your motherboard um how it look like i will show uh, but when it is suppose uh, when it is so uh, um so like uh, so heated uh, because it's produce heat and then if you don't have a cooling fan it's not properly working or uh, cooling system is not working properly and then it will be overheated and then operating system will be frozen it will not work uh, because it could be burned because why it is uh, frozen because operating system also handle the temperature if it is a more than 100 or 120 degree fahrenheit and then they will uh, stop working otherwise what will happen it will make you uh, burn or make you fire now so that time it, uh, the operating system is uh, 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 intelligent and then they will prevent you or give you the warning uh, oh it, your hardware is uh, getting more heated and uh, this is this is the tray inside how it is look like this is this is like a hard drive and then it has a fan and then uh, it is a cooling system like a heat sink is there heat sink is uh, absorb the uh, heat underneath it has a processor and then uh, you see there is a um, uh, ram is there and then they definitely uh, the power uh, supplier is here and then from the power supplier all cable is coming here to give the power uh, to work with all together and then on the bottom you will see the motherboard so it is like all together it is like a desktop or it could be a server but it is look like uh, this is the way it is working uh, that's the way it is uh, working like that and then definitely when we work uh, at the office real uh, real real world office definitely we do have different different like we have a uh, server we do have uh, um, uh, router or modem or firewall and then we have uh, client like uh, desktop or uh, laptop and then we have a standard uh, workstation we, we could have or if we have um, uh, access with uh, uh, remotely and then definitely we bring our laptop at home and then we will connect through the um, router with the server and then we can we do have access with our uh, office um, desktop or laptop or office application so those the those the things you need to uh, know the office environment uh, any question okay uh, so um, one uh, one thing is also like this is the basic uh, definitely um, this is basic for uh, how it is work but some basic uh, we need to know like command line uh, why because uh, sometimes when you work at your uh, company and developer they write down a lot of code to run from command line and then you might need to run manually suppose like a batch file or in to find the file format so go through some file format first and then we will go through later uh, rest of this uh, other other one suppose like uh, if you are working with the uh, microsoft word suppose uh, how you know this is this will file type will show you oh this is saying oh this is microsoft word and then how you find out this is the excel this is the icon is defined and also it will say microsoft excel but if i say what is the file format what is the file type or uh, what is the extension 
uh, and then you will not see here because uh, it is immediately by default it will not show you what you need to do you can uh, from operating system windows 10 if you click view and then did you see this is uncheck file name extension this is called extension when you click and then immediately you will see it is start showing this is called dot x l s x that's mean after windows 2007 all our uh, extension is four digit so before it was um, before 2003 uh, version uh, microsoft office it has only uh, three three digit after dot so always remember file format will show after the file name and then it will separate it by dot and then three characters mostly but for microsoft and some others they could have three to four characters not more than that uh, mostly 99 percent and um, uh, uh, that is the file format so that is the file format means as uh, file types like xlsx and then uh, microsoft office uh, document is has docx and then so on suppose like if if i have something else suppose do, uh, do, uh, do you see this is the zip file so zip file is the uh, compression file compression file is like suppose uh, on the old office if we go and then one folder uh, has lot of files um, and then uh, they they have multiple folders and then multiple folders they will what they do they will uh, have uh, the string or rope and then they tightly bind uh, make it uh, combine together for yearly or monthly wise so and then they put in the doyer so that's the same thing suppose like if we have multiple files and then it, uh, we need to make it zip file that is compression file and then compression file has zip uh, format or uh, there is a lot of uh, software is there winzip is uh, supporting uh, winzip and winrar uh, suppose if you go uh, windows uh, definitely uh, um, suppose there is a lot of thing win uh, winzip if you don't have definitely windows doesn't have by default um, uh, on their operating system but it will open but it doesn't have this is the third party software it is uh, sometimes it has free sometimes it has a li it needs most it needs uh, license uh, it has a trial also uh, and then on the um, online you can buy it so this winzip file when you install or even though there is a software is 7zip this is the free wire definitely and then if you click 7zip and then uh, you might have do, do you see the zip file it has 86 and it has 64 that means 64 bit and 32 bit 32 bit it, it will show 86 and then 64 bit will show 64 so you can install anything so, but remember if you have your operating system 64 recommendation is definitely you are gonna use it 64 bit but if your operating system is 32 bit you cannot install 64 bit because it will not support so it will not support um, because uh, the bit is different so uh, that you need to check out and then definitely it has different version you see the type file type file type is dot exe this is the executable file executable file when you see that uh, this executable file it will show on your operating system as a application suppose like uh, if i minimize everything and then if i go to the party and then party has a exe file as well suppose party exe and then when you go a uh, file format did you see dot exe is showing now and then it is showing as a file type application it is not showing as an executable it is showing as a uh, application and then this is the uh, html file dot chm uh, this is the format and then this doesn't have because it is shortcut is not a file type that's why it is not showing sometimes the regular uh, regular file um, it, it might not show you anything by default uh, it is a um, program file program files means some uh, settings file definitely uh, it has some uh, some line of uh, instruction or maybe copyright instruction is there so they don't have any text format or any others it could be a text but they put it no file format 
uh, uh, from here. Uh, so if they don't use any file format, by default, it will show as a file. So it has the size by defined here. And then definitely when you right click, lot of people, they know you, you can you can do lot of way you can view it. And then lot of way you can sort it. Sort by name, sort by type, and then it will show you the type wise. If you go uh, from here, this is the things. Uh, date wise, you can go latest, uh, oldest one it will show. So, and then size wise also you can do. So anyhow, um, this is this is the file format uh, uh, we talk about. And then definitely uh, another one is MSI. It is, is Microsoft, uh, Microsoft um, exe file also uh, installer file it is called microsoft installer file uh, it is uh, it could be an extension of msi so it, it does the same exe or msi and then they have another one dot 7z did you see here is a two uh, two uh, two character only after dot so it could be a different different but mostly um, it has three characters those are the things this is the you see this has zip file and then how it is and then another one you will see for the linux version it has a tar tar and bz so tar tar file that also tar file also working with uh, linux not for uh, windows linux you need to um, unzip it and then you can work on it so when when you um, um, when you have zip file you need to unzip it and then you can zip and unzip both you can do so we will show you how you can do that uh um, based on our um suppose like i wanted to make it uh these uh, these four files last three four files i want to make it zip file how you can do suppose like you need to uh, send the email your boss uh, or your colleague definitely they uh, um, you might have a lot of files but it is uh, difficult to um uh, open them or, or track them how many uh, files is there uh, and then uh, it is difficult also sometimes uh, you have a uh, lot of uh, log file um, dot log and then uh, they might tell you okay can you send me the log file and then immediately you see that log file has more than 10 giga uh, 10 megabyte suppose like 40 uh, 40 megabyte you have and then but outlook is not allowing more than 10 megabyte then uh, you can you can say oh okay the file is very uh, uh, large uh, i cannot attach it and then they will say oh you are um, you don't know if you make it zip uh, yeah, it will compress very low and then you can um, check it maybe it might uh, go to less than 10 giga uh, 10 megabyte and then when you make it uh, on my real experience also i did it also last time like uh, 43 megabyte it was and then when i make it zip file it got only 2.5 megabyte so how, uh, how much is like a uh, thousand times it got complex almost so always remember like um, you need to check with so suppose when you select those file and then immediately if you have zip file suppose i have a 7 zip and then it has it has you see um at at zip um so you can do uh, add to archive or add to 7z uh, or you can compress to zip file my recommendation is make it zip because if you make it 7z uh, suppose um, you are sending to your colleague they might not have 7z um, zip file they have winzip so they can open it uh, winzip is, is standard and uh, zip file is sorry zip file is standard and then it will open by every software 7z winzip winrar everything so and then after that when you click and then immediately you will see here uh, there is uh, there is a different file will open it suppose like uh, why it goes so maybe some other location it should not uh, let me check uh, okay add to archive or this, this is the extract for extracting this i am adding this so add add those zip file and then immediately did you see zip file is got created and then when you open that zip file and then immediately you will see all file is inside and then if you need to send someone or copy someone or extract someone suppose i make it x uh, cut uh, uh, control x that's mean cut copy and cut you can do everything from here right i did it cut 
uh, i don't want to keep it here and then let's go to original and then come here and then create another folder uh, and then this is for zip whatever and then i paste it here and then immediately if you need to suppose uh, you got somewhere uh, with the mail and they give you the zip file and then how you can uh, use it first you need to unzip you can when you do unzip you can do uh, unzip here or you can do extract to this so mostly um, recommendation is if you have a separate folder you can do and then it will show you here it will show you here and then immediately you can work with you can work with did you see this is the text this is the text document dot txt this is the docx so every file format is remain the same it will not modify but it will compress and then easy to um, attach because you need to attach only one file not the four file sometimes they a lot of uh, even though in um, uh, gmail uh, they have a limitation for 25 files suppose if you have a 50 files and then definitely you cannot uh, uh, use separately one by one uh, and then it is time consuming also uh, to uh, select one by one and then uh, 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 download it but it is def definitely WinZip is handy for on that time so those those things we need to know and uh, another uh, this is the zip and unzip i'll show you uh, already and then another uh, another thing is important suppose the command uh, uh, for the dos command so how you can uh, open dos command from your operating system windows operating system definitely you need to write command prompt or cmd so when you when you have a shortcut key is cmd and then it will uh, show you command prompt when you click and then you will see the operating system version automatically it will show because dos is uh, pre uh, previously windows before uh, windows 1995 dos uh, ms dos was the only operating system but now after that everything every operating system they release and also they keep uh, they keep that um for uh, for uh, user uh, for user to use that command line as well so it is very handy sometimes um, uh, for uh, using those uh, command so mostly uh, when you uh, click command prompt it will navigate to you user uh, location suppose uh, um, this is my user location the under the user and then where it is if you go c drive definitely it will it will show you under the c drive and then users and then users have multiple users and then they use this rust and then uh, I am here right now I am here and then immediately if you click dir I am not seeing any directory right so if you want to see the directory dir and then definitely it will show you all the list whatever I have the visual is here it will show you here everything and uh, this is this is the type they will tell you what types of your uh, file format you do have suppose if you if you want to go to documents folder then the command key is cd cd is uh, change directory cd is uh, um, uh, cd command is uh, represent for command directory so cd is space and then the folder name so what is the folder name de uh, or sorry i am going to documents documents if you enter and then immediately you will not see the uh, all files but the location got changed then what you need to know or what you need to do again you need to do dir then when you enter it will show you the all files and then now you will see some is directory dir dir so i do have five directory or three five, uh, four five so suppose like this is dot, uh, dot and dot two will uh, tell you later this is hidden file it is operating system but mostly four folders is there suppose let's go uh, from here if you go documents and then four folder is here so four four folders is showing there and then how and then you can check it those are showing those are different other one will not as a directory it will show the file type and then here 
the directory is not showing the size but file will show you the sizes here the same here the same the size is not showing here but file format is showing here file uh, file size and file type the same thing on dos also it will show you how you can navigate so command change uh, command directory sorry uh, change directory you can go and then we can do suppose we have a original if we want to go to original g i n l so sorry um if you enter the file name cd original my you see if you are not uh, using uh, your uh, correct uh, folder name it will show you the error message this is the uh, because they could not find operating system will throw the warning message system could not find and then when you enter it will go away again if you do dir and then it will go again inside the original directory and then suppose if you need to go back on your um, previous uh, folder how you can do the command is cd dot dot when you enter that means it will go one step. Suppose what we what we do on our uh, operating system, we go up button. Only one key, up button, and then definitely it will go. Uh, so, and then if you do cd dot dot again, it will go another one. So, but if you do cd slash, what will do? It will immediately go to the all the way. That is your root directory. That means C drive. So you don't need to uh, um, you, you don't need to go to uh, your um, your location. Suppose like uh, if I want to go uh, C drive, it's so our party party location. So I need to go CD and then I can copy the location and then right click immediately it will come the uh, location type. Suppose how it does suppose like if i go file location i'll show you again so click here and then right click copy and then go to your dos command remove this again then write down cd and then space and then immediately right click when you do right click and then it will come your location when you enter you see right now i am going over there so suppose i want to execute this file when i need to execute then from dos command i need to know the exe file so if you the exe file is party so if you do if you do p u t t y and then enter and immediately you see this pop up this is my software i ran from where i ran from dos so i did not put it dot exe immediately it, it is looking for exe uh, and microsoft dos command we will look for exe file if you don't put any extension so and then that the, just for file name the exe file name you enter and then you can go through suppose like if you go to um from here uh, on your c drive and then program files 86 and then google and then google chrome is there google application is there google uh, exe file is there suppose if you want to execute the your chrome um, from your command command prompt and then you need to go over there right and then what you need to do cd and then right click immediately you put the full path you enter it did you see the file location got changed it is no more party because from even though from party i choose it but i choose full location if i if i don't put it full location it will not work because they could not find out so always remember if you put it from party if you put it uh, chrome application it is it will look chrome application folder under the party but if you do c colon slash and then full path it will it will know oh, okay you are putting the location from beginning and then and then after that if you write c-r-o-a-m-e chrome and then immediately you will see the browser got opened so that's way also from from our uh, dos prompt we can uh, execute so what we learn we learn how to execute the file and then how to navigate cd by cd command uh, to go forward and cd dot dot go backward 
and then if we need to go all the way down to the root cd slash that is also important and sometimes um, we can do from uh, uh, we can run the batch file as well so how we can write down the batch file so when you do the uh, batch file it will run by dos prompt uh, uh, so batch file means dot bat bat format we need suppose we need to go through um let's let's start with let me check with that and then notepad and then uh, suppose my batch file will run notepad as uh, or uh, um, chrome chrome file suppose i start with start and then put that location and then slash chrome chrome dot exe full path uh, i need to do so and then save as i put it under the documents or somewhere else it is depends on i'll show you how to run the batch file so under the documents maybe uh, we can go uh, so for dos practice we can do dos dos practice enter go here put the file name um, um open sorry ch chrome chrome launch chrome launch dot bat it is important what you need to do you need to do with uh, bat i will show you another um, very good things when you write down on the file format with uh, microsoft uh, notepad and then if you mention it manually the file types dot bat and then did you see the save as save as file format is dot txt let's check it what it does what will happen it okay come here go to documents and then uh, under the documents the uh, so under things dust practice and then did you see the file format dot bat this is if you double click and then it is saying that could not find programs oh okay what will happen is the from dos when we run it has some space it is doesn't like any space so how we can read off we can go again i know it has all it has some issues with operating system dos because dos is very old so if we have any folder name with the space suppose program file program space files space this and then after that we don't have any space suppose google is together chrome is together application is together so we don't have if you have a space always use with double quote that is the that is the um, recommendation if you even though you know, when we ran it from dos command we don't need to it can handle but if you do it will do the same it will do the same anyhow let me check so i'm here and or not here and then double click and then immediately you'll see that is running even though i'm not going to the dos command but it is working as a dos did you see here the batch file the when you right click and edit that's mean you are doing you are doing start with the command start command this is the dos command and then dos command will do we start with this application which application this is the full path you need to put and then this is the exe file and after that when you save it and then just one one click you every time so that is handy like uh, some command if you need to run every day or um, um, very often and then uh, that time you can put it in your batch file create a batch file with all your command and then make that batch file suppose like i'm doing uh, another one if you right click you can do lot of way if you right click and then did you see the text file also 
you can do from uh, from notepad so text file when you click it will come as a text but definitely make sure your file is going to be dot otherwise it's gonna not work so how you do that right click rename file and then select all so uh, sorry why it is showing uh, make uh, or create folder create folder you can do also create folder dot pat how to do that so now here is we don't have anything right we can write anything what uh, suppose um, we can do where we can do a file like create a file suppose mk dir you do mk dir mk directory or from dos command you can do suppose the location you do mk directory and then c clone slash users slash uh, username slash and then suppose like i can put it the whole path um, and then if you know the full path location uh, put it in one location it is better and then i can show you how to do that so if you go by here like that and then create a new folder like uh, new and then save it so it's definitely you can do same thing in command prompt i will show you the run the batch file and what will happen so come here did you see immediately you click here and then new folder got appeared that's mean the the command line we make a we make a file and then when we double click and then immediately it will run for the dos command so it is very handy for the developer as well lot of commands they create a batch file and then they need to run or even though they can provide you uh, the batch file for execute the your application uh, with uh, <coughs> with your location and then you, you just need to double click to run it but why i'm saying because you need to get the familiar you can do the same way you can do the same uh, same thing you can do uh, cd and then if you do right click and then definitely mkdir uh, you can do make directory and then new to when you enter and then if you come here you see here there is another folder got created so from your dos command you can do uh, you can uh, you, you can uh, do it uh, um, create a folder and then another one is you can do a copy copy a file from dos command so how you can do there is the um, copy command is there so copy command and and then space your location which file you gonna uh copy suppose like i'm going to be copy from create folder batch file to uh, new folder so what is the location i do have definitely under the practice and then file name so right click you do and then what is the file name i do have uh, create folder so create folder dot bat and then what is the location where we want to um, uh, copy from and then to so and then space and then right click again sorry uh, right click the location of dos practice not the practice under the new folder right and then when we enter did you see one files copied how we know we can check it um dir definitely we do have we can do we can check it manually as well suppose like uh, check it's new right new folder folder name and then it is not showing dir and then now it is showing create folder is there the visual let's see go click and then you can see here but you can ask me like why uh, why we make it complex uh, why we need to dos command to make those uh, manually uh, command prompt we can do um, right click and then on the operating system but the thing is sometimes you might need to get the file from your server and then server doesn't have um, um, GUI version. They have only DOS command. They only support the DOS. That time it is very handy how to copy. That's why we just give, uh, give you a heads up like how you can do uh, copy. And then same thing you can do a move as well. 
if you if you uh, from your keyboard if you go up up click uh, uh, sorry uh, up key from your uh, keyboard and then you can do also because so um, the move will do it uh, we can move it from new to new to uh, suppose like the move command then move command where we need to uh, practice definitely uh, suppose I want to move it from this file, not the uh, do, uh, DOS practice. We have another copy, right? Under the new folder. So under the new folder, we do have, and then I want to make it um, move to new to from. So new to, that's mean, this is the location. Be, uh, check it. So wh what um, what I'm moving? Moving move command by move command, then space the location of uh, the file. This is the file I want to uh, move this file from new folder. And so that's why I check it. So uh, DOS practice new and then this is the location. Then space, space is always remember space and then the full location, the destination location from and to. So here this file, it will go move from here to there. Let's see it is working or not. Enter. Russell, I have a question. Sure. So say if the developer say, uh, Rosanna, I created a folder of just go to the um, CMD form and copy it to uh, test what I'm mm -hmm. doing. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, what I have to do, because this is like way too much. Suppose like, uh, suppose maybe uh, it could be a reason like uh, um, the, some, the batch file is uh, on the server. And then he could say, this is the location you just uh, um copy uh, copy the um, batch file uh, on your local and then that time you just go over there put the server site location and then uh, put your local location and then it will copy so they will get they're supposed to give me the location uh, information yes. right yes they will definitely give you the location and the file name you need to run that command uh, and then go to the destination and then uh, it is up to you where you want to co uh, copy uh, then you can go uh, put your desktop or your C drive or a C, uh, C drive under the any folder. And then based on that, you will change it this location because this is your destination and this is your middle one is your source. Source location. Thank you. And then uh, this is the best file. Definitely sometimes you might create and then it is very handy. It's a lot of DOS command. You can you can create it. Uh, and then uh, as, uh, even though if you do another one uh, suppose uh, i make a copy and then uh, ho when i make a copy uh, copy it here and then paste it here immediately it got copied right the same one you need to rename it and then uh, go to rename or right click and then rename you can do uh, right click you can do rename and then uh, you can do uh, note pad launch I'm just this is for practice it is it, definitely it will not give you the write down uh, any command prompt like that but, but this is for practice purpose I'm showing to you how we can la launch it so you uh, rename it definitely the command is not same command need to be modified right so and then what you need to do what is the notepad notepad is definitely under the C drive so we need to know what is the notepad I will show you how to uh, where is the notepad go to uh, notepad and right click sorry uh, from here right click um, this is the file location and then this is the file location means this is the notepad exe is there actually it is looking for uh, not the actual file um, sorry for that i think it's under the c folder uh, c drive uh, c drive windows maybe it's notepad is here yes you see notepad exe so that's mean under the uh, windows you do have so what you need to do um, let's practice just practice purpose notepad dot exe and then you can you can you want to execute or you want to start with right start and then you start this is the file so launch save it close it and then if you do and then immediately you see notepad got opened so that's mean like how you can save time so uh, eventually um, who are working on database they do this batch file every single day because lot of commands they write down and the bunch of commands they write down and then immediately it will run i will 
uh, and then immediately it will show you oh, okay how to go there how how you can run it suppose like uh, i'll show you here there is the one file uh, so not paint actually i put the wrong one so go to open it and then suppose did you see lot of information is there lot of variables uh, they need to make it true 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 and then go to here and there and then lot of commands uh, they are running in a single place so if we run it our executable file and then point it out this 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 uh, all commands it will run by one so it will save you lot of minutes uh, for developer or uh, this as a tester maybe um, uh, you need to run that batch file or you need to modify a little bit but just for give you heads up how to run and then the file format is important if you go to the operating system you will see how many batch file you see the dat file is there uh, e executable file is there xml file is xml text file is txt and then uh, bin is uh, dot bin and then log file is dot log log also text file so when you double click lot of thing is there as a text so th those those you need to do file format is very important based on uh, whatever we do uh, those are the things um, um, I wanted to tell you uh, this is important and also there is a suppose like uh, your Java is there installed and then they could say okay what is your Java version how you can find out so J A V A Java dash B E R S I N version dash version when you enter it and then immediately you will see which version you do have and then you can tell him your uh, boss or your uh, team oh I do have Java version this so a lot of things not only java there is a if you do have another maven or another um, uh, another uh, another application which need to you can you can uh, use that command uh, you can uh, use helpful uh, this command find out the version name and another one is suppose they want to do it is a network class we will cover also suppose uh, you need to uh, do uh, find out your ip address or your computer name uh, sub ip config if you enter ip config and then immediately all of, all ip address your ip version 4 will show you this is our ip address suppose uh, your developer said uh, what is your ip address can you tell me uh, maybe your uh, network settings got corrupted uh, you cannot access yeah, they gave you the url but you don't have access so maybe your uh, default gateway uh, got corrupted or maybe a different one so uh, always remember uh, how you can find out ip config is handy that, uh, that is the command prompt uh, it is handy also and then ping command is uh, used for uh, your uh, ping and then you you can put your server name or, or your um, um, virtual machine name So virtual machine name then you can ping it ping it means ping that way you can find out your um, uh, uh, your connection is good suppose like if i do www.google.com and then when i enter and then immediately when um, how you check your network your connection or you you have internet so if you do ping and then any website uh, you enter and then if you reply back and then that's mean your connection is good if you are reply if you are not reply back connection fail if you if it is saying that's mean your internet is not working some uh, maybe your uh, cable uh, um, uh, loose or maybe network card driver is not update or maybe uh, my network server is down lot of varieties uh, it could be happen so that's why i said just take those command it is very handy to use those um this is the uh, this is the basic uh, command you need to go through and then definitely when you run uh, the command um, exec execute and then it is it will help you so dos command is uh, it is not like lot of things you need to know but basic law uh, basic dos commands is out there and then you can practice on and then get familiar with definitely when you go um, when you have time uh, i'll recommend it go through uh, again and then uh, practice on it uh, it will help you uh, get familiar with any question okay and uh, one thing i also want to check with you guys 
Um, so this is this is that's right. So right now, and then uh, also last class, um, um, uh, Sangam uh, took uh, for uh, from uh, how to process, how, how to develop like software de uh, sub software development lifecycle. Uh, every tester or developer or a, who are working on the software industry, they need to know very good uh, knowledge uh, how it is. Uh, definitely, if you have question, you can ask again to um, a Sangam, and then he will continue from this class. Um, so um, he will start with um, twelve thirty of from um, today, and then um, he will continue. Uh, he's not uh, start it with. By my recommendation is I'll go through again with you, um, like uh, for very quick, and then I have a good videos as well. I will recommend it to uh, share with you. I find out. Uh, so this is the software development lifecycle we already know. The requirement analysis or requirement gathering, um, system design, implementation or coding, um, and then testing, deployment, maintenance. So in that phase, which uh, which stage should uh, should do you want? We're gonna work on is testing environment, right? Testing phase. Uh, on our testing phases, as a tester or QA, we're gonna work. And then uh, those are uh, every every category has the every phase has different different roles. But our role is mostly on testing. It is like one after another. It is like a kinds of uh, waterfall methodology. And then some agile methodology. It is working on requirement. Um, like it could be supposed like agile methodologies like that. Requirement could be changed any phase. So anytime it could be changing, uh, but waterfall definitely it will be defined. All requirement should be finished first. Then they will design based on that, and then they will implement. And then after that they will test, and then they will deploy, and then after that they will maintain. Suppose like you are building your um, uh, big project. So locally we could say suppose we have a bridge um, uh, <clears throat> project, and then definitely they have a requirement. Get, uh, and then they have a planning for budgeting. Everything is come together, and then they design, and then uh, they, they then they implement. After implementation, you cannot tell. Oh, okay, I forgot to uh, make a full lane. Uh, our design was two lane. It's not happen. It, it could not happen. It, uh, and then it could not. We could not. They could not change it like that. Um, oh, okay, well, we have a um, um, only for uh, cars. Uh, we forgot to make a train line as well. We cannot change it. Uh, we cannot do that. Uh, on um, uh, that big project, right? Uh, for um, suppose, like I'm saying here on the bridge or uh, maybe to, um, tallest storage building, definitely you need to make a plan first, and then you can do implement. You cannot go back uh, middle. The software also in the software sector also uh, some software uh, is very big. Suppose like uh, healthcare uh, or insurance company. Definitely wh when they build, they need to. Um, clear the requirement first, and then based on that, they uh, they need to uh, implement because it could be suppose you know Obamacare was very big and definitely they finish first. Otherwise, uh, um, any phase if they change it every month, they change is going to be huge cost. Definitely, it will complete, but it will get going to be very costly. But why mostly the companies uh, right now agile methodology they implement because seventy percent or more than seventy percent now uh, they adopt agile methodology. It is flexible because why they are uh, going that because uh, more satisfaction with the customer uh, or, or with the product owner. That way uh, they do. Um, uh, so um, uh, the main uh, I would say this is I am not sure. As is, you have a good time or not, but I will recommend it to you. Uh, go through those uh, videos yourself, and then you can uh, you can do. Just one second. One second. So uh, I will share with you, and then uh, at home uh, you can uh, go through these videos. It is like ten minutes videos, and then it will give you the good uh, understanding uh, how software development lifecycle is working on. Um, definitely, um, uh, we all are working. Yes. Yeah, so let's see. Um, Sangam is come already because he should take the class. Uh, we have a uh, four minutes. Um, 
so uh, based on the form is just uh, for you get uh, heads up um do you have guys any question anything uh i have one question sure uh, who's this you told me farhana okay uh, farhana yeah what is uh, the ip address uh, can you explain again so oh, mm, it is network class we will cover it uh, definitely we will go through again uh, cmd uh, it has a, a part of network class so suppose like uh, ip con uh, config if you write uh, write down ip config and then when you enter you will see lot of bunch of things um so you, you have a we do have a wireless card we have network card and then that's why we have lot of um, addresses suppose this is the ip address this is the ip address is like a uh, i would say suppose when we have a phone when we buy a sim card and then that sim card has um, a, put our phone number right and then that phone number is uh, accessible uh, with all over the america with an, a different network it doesn't matter but that phone number is definitely is unique it is not uh, shared with um, um uh, share with other other network suppose uh, you are um, by phone and the new number is under the at&t definitely verizon doesn't have the same phone number because it is the unique uh, that phone number is, is unique even though your provider is different so that's mean the ip address whatever in the world uh, whatever we have um, suppose like um, um, google.com or uh, yahoo.com or facebook.com or amazon.com whatever we have we enter the name but in the behind they have a ip address because who gonna who uh, who it is working how it is working i would say it is working with the dns so definitely you will not familiar uh, right now we'll have a class with the networking and then we will give you the picture suppose like right now uh, uh, dns name is like your phone book suppose you can save my name as a russell and then when you uh, click russell and then my phone number will show and then you can uh, click um, uh, call button and then it will call uh, russell phone number not the russell because our uh, um, another phone number the same number uh, somebody can put it russell um, uh, uh, qa or russell um, um, or some uh, russell spelling is uh, some different so but number is same so it doesn't matter whatever you put so that's meaning is dns is working according your name so whatever uh, they have who gonna work uh, who gonna uh, maintain this this gonna maintain worldwide wide web this is the organization uh, worldwide web that's why we put it www and then the dot com is the domain dot org dot net uh, this is the domain domain is a different category or types of ip address we'll go through later but for sure heads up right now ip address uh, think about every computer need a unique number to communicate in the office okay that is the number and then definitely uh, under that if you if you see uh, you will you will go through that uh, like this is the mac and then this is the address mac address so we will check it mac address uh, this is network class we will go through deep into more details um, and then how how it is what is the subnet mask what is the default gateway and then what does mean the ip4 uh, address that we will go through but but the thing is mostly we need to know the ip version 4 right now because ip version 4 is limited right now ip6 is coming into the picture because uh, um, ip uh, ip4 is going to be finished very soon uh, uh, after that because everywhere every device is now they are using wireless um, every car every device a lot of devices they are using so it's going to be it has limited uh, because uh, ip4 you see here it has a four section it is separated by dot or a b c d and then uh, every number it should be between 0 to 255 the all together is 256 because it's 8 bit each and a, 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 each one uh, is 8 bit so all together for 32 bit so 8 bit means you already know maximum we can assign 250 6 so we start with 0 and so that's why it's 255 so 255 through uh, 
zero or zero through two fifty five is the maximum. No IP address you can see uh, more than two fifty five, like three hundred dot uh, three fifteen or something like that. You cannot see. So right now, uh, I, one minute over. So I will hand over to Sangam, and then uh, he will uh, complete uh, uh, to continue and then um, finish his lecture. So just for, uh, stay with Sangam and then um, uh, bye for now uh, from today, and then see you on uh, next class. And Sangam, I'll I'll make him presenter as well. So okay, Sangam. Presenter. Okay, Sangam, you are presenter now. Uh, I'll go to mute. Thank you.